What do you do when life doesn't turn out the way you expect it to? Just five months ago, a Jacksonville native in a basketball standout was in a life altering accident. The pickup truck that Patrick Young was driving in Nebraska rolled over, leaving him paralyzed and in that wheelchair. But despite his circumstances, he is choosing joy. He launched a foundation here to help others facing similar situations, and you can help. At six foot nine, Patrick Young says his stature is what most people immediately noticed about him. But it's like, now you notice that I'm in a chair. Who am I now? The Providence High graduate was one of the top high school basketball players in the country and played for Coach Billy Donovan at the University of Florida. Went to three consecutive Elite Eights, then a Final Four, won three SEC championships, uh, one title. Um, I was a defensive player of the year, I, all these types of things. Uh, I didn't go drafted but I still played professional for six years. Got a chance to play around the world. After retiring from his basketball career, he got his dream job in 2021 and he got engaged. Things just going in 21 in a great direction for me as I'm filling out these new roles as serious uh, boyfriend to fiance, uh, working a professional job uh, with the SEC Network, covering basketball, uh, traveling, doing all these things. But 10 days before his wedding, his life took a turn he wasn't expecting. So my car goes completely parallel to the road and it takes a flip, uh, flips over and I'm thankful the car only flipped over one time. He called me and said that he got in an accident and he kept saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, he said he couldn't feel his legs. There was so much pressure and compression in my back that it caused my spinal cord to, I felt a pop. Patrick was airlifted to the hospital with a spinal cord injury and underwent an eight hour surgery. I remember his, the doctor told, um, I think it was his mom and I, that rehabilitation was unlikely. And we just, you know, froze. It was just very shocking. The accident left him paralyzed from the belly button down. You know, storms, trials, that come in our lives, we also, also sometimes we think that they disrupt everything, but oftentimes it, it could be a nudge to say like, I'm clearing your path and this is what I want you to focus on. And I see like laser focused that God wants to use me right now. Instead of being bitter, he is choosing joy. As all this is happening, he decides now is the time to start a foundation, okay? <laughs> Crazy, right? Um, but you know, I think through this whole process, we were just showered, uh, just showered with blessings. While still rehabilitating five days a week, he started the Patrick Young Foundation to pay for the outpouring of love and support he and his family have received. You know what? No one's really prepared for a situation like this. And it can really not only affect your life and well-being, but uh, it can bankrupt you and insurance oftentimes will only pay for so much. That's why his foundation's focus is providing life-changing support for those with life-altering injuries. If you can't afford it, if you don't have the right insurance, if you don't have the people that can come in and adjust your bathroom or widen your doors, all those things matter in making a person feel as though they can be free again. And of course, the dream and vision for everyone is to walk again, but if you don't, you can still live a life without limitations. And the foundation, that's gonna be our purpose. With his wife, Whitney, who he married in the hospital and his daughter by his side encouraging him, Patrick is working hard every day to walk again. And he's living out his faith. I have even if faith, it's not what if. What if I don't walk? What if this doesn't happen? No, even if those things don't happen in the way that I want them to, I still have the resolve to believe that my God is good. I still can show up to my family, be a good husband, be a good dad. Nothing's gonna change that. So I just say I'm, I'm gonna choose joy regardless of my circumstances. And I wanna be a good example for anyone and everyone that's gonna face hardships. His attitude so inspiring and his foundation is having its inaugural golf tournament at the yards in Ponte Vedra December the 12th. All the golf slots are sold out, but tickets oh. are still still available for the luncheon and for the silent auction afterwards where you can hear mm. him share more of his story. I've posted a link in this story on firstcoastnews.com and you can catch Patrick Young on the SEC Network 
this weekend, but he is amazing. Wow. Yeah. So you, you were pumped about this oh my interview after you did it. Yeah. You were telling me all about it. And now I have a really There's better a lot, understanding right? why, because he's amazing. He's amazing, and the smile on his face, despite what he's been through, he's choosing joy, and he truly lives out his life that wow. way. Wow. Yep. Wow. You know, but, uh, yeah, I, I heard about uh, that, that golf event, and I know how popular that's going to be out of the mm -hmm. yards. What a beautiful spot. And, uh, and Patrick, go get him, man. Uh, just keep inspiring. That's incredible yep, stuff. Yep, big things to come from All him. right, Heather, thank hmm. you for sharing that.